All right, guys, what is up here? YouTube, Jigsaw0097 here, bringing you my post-game whatever. Um, the Eagles do win it, guys, 24-18. to There was a very costly turnover at the end of the game, but luckily it didn't result in anything because Blake Bortles is just that bad, guys. Um, the Eagles' defense still struggled really bad. You know, honestly, we only win this game because of how bad the Jaguars are. Um because the Eagles made a lot of mistakes. Carson Wentz had tur a turnover, and the defense as a whole was just getting torched again. But Jalen Mills went out, and we got to see Rasul Douglas come in, which was just great. Um, and hopefully Jalen Mills is out for a substantial amount of time. Like, I don't wish injury on the guy, but it's like I want – this is what it takes for Jim Schwartz to see that he needs to take him out. Sorry, I'm going to mute the, the TV still on. Um, if this is what Jim Schwartz needs to take him out, then I'm all for it. So, we might see Jalen Mills out of the game when we play the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football after the bye. That's like two weeks from now. But the Eagles go to 4-4, four and four, which is great. They're able to keep up with the Redskins, who are 4-2. and two. They're at 500 again. And I think that them playing the Cowboys, that's very winnable. They can go to 5-4. and four. And they, they might be able to start something here. Um, because I did say if they lost this game, 3-5, and five, they would have been done. So um, the Eagles winning this game is huge, guys. It really is for continuing the momentum. And, you know, Wentz, he had mistakes. But I'm hearing the benching call-outs already. This is what's so funny about Eagles Nation. Last year we were bitching and moaning about how Nick Foles couldn't win the Super Bowl. And then he does. And how Wentz deserved the Super Bowl and all this crap that I heard last year. And now, because Wentz has been playing a little bit sloppy, because, hello guys, he came off of a freaking knee surgery. Everyone's saying that, he's, that he needs to be benched and that um, put in foals. I'm just like, this, this is just the fan base, guys. It's getting disgusting, honestly, some of you. I, I continue to call you out week to week because you guys need to stop it. Stop it. Like, I can be pretty negative on here too sometimes, just be disappointed, but I'm, I'm not going to just sit here and say that we need to bench Wentz and all this crap. The problem isn't Wentz. The problem is we don't have a running game, and our defensive secondary is very suspect at this point. It has nothing to do with Carson Wentz. You give Carson Wentz a Le'Veon Bell or like a, a Julio Jones, I mean, he's going to light the field up out there. I mean, he's got Alshon Jeffrey, but he needs, he needs a complimentary guy and, and you know the Eagles don't really have that they have Nelson Aguilar they have Jordan Matthews that will show up every now and then and so I don't want to hear that Wentz he has a turnover and fumbles whatever you know he's struggling also the O-line is crap too guys you got to remember that the O-line is not playing up to its potential J Jason Peters looks like he's like 50 years old out there his skill set has eroded he will probably be gone after this season um, and so the Eagles are kind of in a semi-rebuild, semi-Super Bowl drought right now. So we'll just have to see what they can do with this season. But, you know, we, they got the win, so I'll take it. I'll take it. And Wentz looked amazing. Even though he had the – that when he threw that ball and it bounced off and he caught it and ran, that's the kind of thing Wentz gives you. He can turn nothing into something. It's what he's always been doing. <laughs> There's Bruce Arians in the booth. That's hilarious. Man, he's looking old. Um, his beard is but uh anyway guys like I said the Eagles beat the Jaguars um, it's good to good to get the win Eagles go to four and four Jaguars they fall to three and five sorry guys we needed to get that win more than you Blake Bortles is trash you guys already know that though um, but you know very good defense over in Jacksonville so that um, I know Dallas put up 40 on them but they're like the Eagles this year. They just sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But I think Jacksonville's a very good team. I mean, they were they it could have been an Eagles Jaguars Super Bowl last year. So anyway, that's really all I gotta say, guys. I'll make some videos during the week um, talking about. I've got some things to talk about about the league in general, um, and just kind of what's been really pissing me off about football this year. But I'll make that video later this week but anyway guys whatever you thought about the game comment down below let me know um if you guys actually woke up like i did at 7 30 a.m here in utah i woke up i'm really tired because i woke up 
um, so early. I was pl I played Red Dead really late, and then I woke up. I worked, then I played Red Dead, and then I slept for like five hours, and now I'm watched. So I haven't really slept much, and so I'm kind of just eh. But what do you guys think? Like I said, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thank you so much again, guys. This has been Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.